the politics to me, and I think to most people, is like, how do you even understand what's going on? Like, people who say they understand, I don't even believe, because there's so much moving parts, there's so much backroom deals, uh, you know, so much corruption. So much. How do you even know what is actually what going is really on? Happening I feel like doors. I don't even know, I, I don't even bother to try. That's a very rational decision. Uh, the One of the stats I saw was that 25% of Americans are, quote unquote, politically disengaged. Right. They yeah. just think it's a waste of time I and think energy. it's that, yeah. because what do you get your information from? I mean, the newspaper, what's the best source? I mean, okay, you're going to read the newspaper, you're going to watch the news. Um, and it's even, still so filtered and removed. And so even the yeah. debates, like you pointed out, just feel like you're watching a reality and not actual anything. and not even a good one <laughs> no. the debates are such a nightmare. Not a I mean, good one. the debates really are such a nightmare <laughs> i mean they ask you complex questions and expect you to answer in what like 30 seconds and then they cut you off um, and they focus so much on the drama it's right. like they want it they want you to get into an argument with joe biden on <laughs> yeah and you know one thing I'll, I'll share with you all is that some of the campaigns are in touch with the tv network ahead of time to talk about what sort of attack they want to Level wow. on the stage. They're like <laughs> an attack on uh, Biden crazy. around yes. this question would be would play really well. Or yes, the campaign says, "Hey, um, we're going to make this attack against Biden," and then the network goes, "Okay, like we get it," and then they uh, help create that opportunity. <laughs> what a nightmare! I mean, what a farce! Yeah, it's it's quite a disaster. And I, I want to share with you the perspectives. Like I'm, I think, like a lay person who happens to find himself on the presidential debate stage being like what the hell is going <laughs> on here <laughs> like why well, you know what's happening well, i'm not on this conference call <laughs> so what do you what do you what's your message to people like me and most most and a growing number of of people who just feel disengaged because it feels just impossible to actually understand what's going on even when you invest your time you still don't understand what's going on so what do we do first whatever sense of unease you have is uh, probably the least of it. Like, things are worse and shittier than even most people believe, uh, in my experience. Like, the the institutions are just so corrupt and weak, and the, the people involved are just so checked out mm. and jaded. Washington, mm. D.C. is not a great place. Uh, I have friends who've worked on Capitol Hill, and they went in with the best of intentions, and then 10 years later, they're just totally defeated. Wow. Mm. Like, it, it's it's not a good look. Uh, so first, I just want to verify everyone's sense of <laughs> of <laughs> despair. Like, the despair is well-founded. Hmm. Now, as to what we can do about it, it's going to take a campaign like mine that's an outsider campaign, a non-politician, completely funded by the people, 26 bucks a pop, actually shaking things up mm -hmm. and saying, look, we can do things differently. And after I become president, we can transform the... Right now, like the polarization and the gridlock, because everyone senses that I'm non-ideological. I'm just trying to solve the problems. I'm just trying to do it for the people. And then hopefully we can change uh, the culture. Now, it's a very tall order. It's going to be very, very difficult. But I think we can do it if enough of us get together and say, look, we're sick and tired of politics as usual. And we're willing to take a chance on the Asian man who wants to give everyone money. Mm. I feel like also... <laughs> With the way that you are running, it's pointing out, at least to me, the feeling that I get is how most of us really can agree on a lot of things, no matter on which side you are. And I think that's what, what it's going to take, because you need to be able to convince people who voted for Trump. And pointing out that there's so much wrong that we, can, we all need for all of us is the way for me to do it. And I see yeah. it with the way you're running. You know, I'm happy to say uh, I'm one of only two candidates, along with Bernie Sanders, that over 10 percent of Trump voters said they would vote for. Mm -hmm. And so with that, that's enough to win. If I right. become the nominee, I win this election. Mm -hmm. Easy. I think so, actually. I can't vote, but I would vote. You might um, be able to by the time the president. Maybe. Can, yeah. I'm a permanent she's, resident she's right now. Common, she's close <laughs> to becoming a citizen. Wow. You would make America this much cooler. <laughs> yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. One more cool American. That's the way it happens. Uh, I really, I love America and I feel like it's such a shame what's going on here and someone needs to fix it urgently. 
Plus, that's you have a child now, and the child is American. And, and all this, age all the gun, the the gun violence, I I can't take it anymore. I really I cannot hear about it. Like lately, there were kids that died, babies. Mm-hmm. I can't even imagine if I was the parent. How it, do you even handle that? Yeah, it, it it's it's disastrous. I mean, as a parent too, I, I see the images, and you're just like, you know, I mean, thankfully, my kids are too young to understand. Right. We have to protect them from it and then change the reality on the ground before, you know, my kids and yours become old enough to show up to schools where they're having shooter drills, which a lot of schools have now.